Welcome back to Verrier's. We've been busy in the kitchen today. We did a bunch of black eyed peas. I finished with that video and I figured while well, I have everything out, I might as well go ahead and do some black beans. And I put three of these bags in a pot. These are one pound bags. Three of them in a pot and they are boiling. I'm gonna let them uh, cook for about a half hour. Let's we'll check them out. They took on quite a bit of water. Um, so that's doing good. And I was gonna put these in quartz and I thought, no, I'm just gonna put them in pints because I'm just gonna make some dips with these, I think, or maybe throw them into like a soup once in a while, you know? So anyway, that is that. Let me go down a little further, I guess. There we go. Okay. It had uh, water in there pretty good, but it's taken on quite a bit of water. Um, it's doing pretty good, actually. So they've been in there for 15 minutes exactly. Um, cooking for 15 minutes, I'm gonna let them go for a half hour. They're dry beans, make sure you go through them, look for stones, make sure you rinse them a couple times, make sure your jars are clean and sterilized, get everything ready to go. This is gonna be a pretty fast process because it's just plain old black beans. I'm not gonna do much to them except for putting a ham stock in them when I jar, when I jar them up. So that's it. That's what they look like, and we're gonna go from there. Okay guys, I'm back, and I'm going to start filling these jars. Actually, um, I cleaned my stove up several times because that juice from those black beans, like black and purple, I'm not gonna have to stain my stuff. My towel, so I got the crappiest towel I can find, look at it. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready for a mess. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna fill these jars to the shoulder right there with uh, these black beans. We'll see how many jars we get. I really am curious. I'm curious. Okay. I think that's it. I'm not going to go maybe a little bit higher. You know me always pushing my luck. I think that's going to be it. Let me look. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna stay right there. I'm not gonna push it any further than that. I'm actually gonna drain all these. Here in a second. This next one. Probably good. On that one. Let me get you in closer. Here we go. Okay. We're going to try that. See how we do. I'm draining these black beans. Before I put them into the jar, I did um, cook them with spices in there, so um, they will have some taste to them, and then I'm going to put that leftover broth that was from those ham concentrate packets that I had in on top of these, so perfect. I can get nine pints in my canner. So I'm hoping I at least get nine pints full of these beans. If we have to fudge a little, you know, I probably will. I don't want to have to, but we'll see what happens here. I think we're gonna be okay. A little bit more for that one. I might go a little bit higher on these. Let's see. We'll see. We'll get them all in there first. See how much I have left over. That's the plan.
because it is getting down low. perfect to tell you the truth you guys and I love it when it ends up like that so we'll see we'll see got some more in here still so Flinging beans, y'all. Flinging beans. All right, I'm going to drain these. I'll be back and see how much I have. Okay, this is what I have left, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to make it work. Okay, this one's as full as it needs to be. Those two, I think, are full enough. That's full enough. Yeah, this one's a little low. This one's a little low. I can put a little bit more on this one. So we're going to... In that one. One last bean. Okay. That's that. And we're going with that. Then I've got this. And we'll fill these up about a third with this. Ooh, I went over on that one. Because I went all of them too long to get some. Boy, I got half on that one. That one up. That, I need to slow down. I think I'm going to have enough to do them all, you guys, with the ham stuff. I saved it off that other batch that I revamped of the uh, black eyed peas. So, I think we're going to be good. Yay, makes me happy. We'll start back here on the back and go forward. Get them all full, then we will debubble. Fill them up to an inch head space. I don't have enough to do it. If not, I'm using water. I don't care. I think I'll be using water. I'm going to put some more in this one. Even it out amongst them. So when I put the water in there, it won't be so diluted. Okay, that's what we're doing. Fill this up with water. The half inch. Clean the top of these jars and uh, get the lids on them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna clean these rims off. Fingers are stained, guys. My fingers are stained from this water already. Don't expect to be having a beautiful manicure doing this job unless you're going to wear gloves. Just a heads up, okay? Okay. Okay, so I have these all cleaned off the rims and we're going to put these lids on. And I am using... Woo, these cat lids. You don't want to touch the underneath part of them. Just make sure everything gets lined up there. Put your finger on it. Screw your band on. As soon as that jar starts moving, stop. Again, put it on there. Make sure it's in the right place. Put your finger on it to hold it in place. Do that. As soon as the jar starts moving, stop. Okay, guys, I'm using Tatler lids. I only have two left to go. 
and you just grab the lid. You don't touch the underneath part of it at all. Turn it over. Set it exactly where it needs to be. Put your finger on it. Turn the band. When the jar starts turning, you're done. Here's my last one. Line it up where you want it. Put your finger on it. Put the band on there. When the jar starts turning, you're done. So I've got all these guys ready to go into the canner as soon as it stops from this last batch here, and then we'll continue on. All right, I finally got my black eyed peas out of the pot, so we're gonna put these in. I rinsed it out and uh, got warm water in there because these are still pretty warm. And we're gonna get these guys going. These black beans with the Tatler lids, which is a new thing for me. We're gonna see how we do. Hope we do okay. <laughs> Goodness. All right. So we've got nine of them in there. And we're gonna get her going. There we go. All right. Lid back on. This canner has done its job today, I'm telling you. Cool for $4.99 from Goodwill. Okay, it's on high, and um, when it starts doing its thing, then I will put the little weight back on it, 10 pounds. And uh, these will go for 75 minutes because they're pints. I do not have any meat in them whatsoever. Um, they're just seasoned, so that's it. It'll be 75 minutes and they will be done, which will be like nice considering I waited twice now today for 90 minute sessions. So third session is only 75 and then we'll be on it. We'll be pulling these babies out. It's been a busy day. We'll be back. All righty, as you can see, it is steaming full throttle. So we'll give it 10 minutes. That'll be exactly 8 to 10 and then I'll put my 10 pound weight on. Okay, it's time. And I am going to turn my heat down just a tad bit. Like I said, you don't want to go down real fast. And I know where mine is supposed to be and end up. So I, I go about usually, depending on what's going on, I got the air conditioner running. So I'm going to take it down about a half of a notch at a time until I get it where I need to be. So we'll be back when these are done. 75 minutes after it starts going blah, 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 up there on top. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, it's toggling. So at 9.35, we will be done. That's 75 minutes for the pints. Okay guys, we're back and I'm going to turn this and lift it a little bit. Let it sit there for a couple seconds and then I'll pull the lid off all the way. Okay, now we're gonna get them out of there. They should be ready. Got to put my uh, vinegar in this one as well. I don't know why I keep forgetting that, so I'm gonna have to wash them all off by the morning. Get that white off of them. Ooh. In um, five minutes. I guess I have to wait to go ahead and tighten down these lids because they are the Tatler lids. So I've never done that before. So it's all new to me. So we'll get that done. And then tomorrow, I guess we will see if they all seal. So, but they look like they filled up pretty well. Let me see here. Yeah, they're good. They're right up to the top of the jar. I can see right through after the little bump there for the one inch mark. I can see right through. So there's no beans up in the top. So that's cool. Everything's good. Put my lid back in my canner. I didn't even take my weight off of it <laughs> before I took the lid off. I'm not tired, you guys. It's late. It's like 1130. So it's been a big day. 
<laughs> I'm gonna clean these up in the morning, like I said, and I'll get a picture for you or uh, show you real quick before I go ahead and upload this video. So, hope you guys are doing well and happy canning. These beans are easy to do. All beans are easy to do, you guys. They're really super easy. Don't be afraid to do, you know, your pressure canning. Don't be afraid to mess with beans. Don't be afraid to add seasonings in. You don't have to add salt. You can add salt if you want. You can add seasonings if you want. I put greens even in with my beans. I love beans and greens. Um, but you can put meat in there with them. You know, you can put uh, meat off a of ham hock, which is really good. You get smoked sausage if you want. You can put ham in there if you want. You can put whatever you want in there with it, and it's going to be good. I guarantee you. You can't really go wrong with beans. <laughs> They're super simple and high protein. So it's a really good meal or soup generally. So anyway, hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you later. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> Let's check these lids and see if they all stuck on there. <laughs> I mean, it's the first time I ever did it. So I want to see how I did. All right. Success. 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 We're doing good. So far, so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yay, we did it. I'm so happy. I was kind of scared about those things. They're so different than the regular lid that you use that uh, I was wondering if I was gonna be able to pull it off. We did pretty good. We had, I think, the lowest of water is about right there. It took on so much water that as long as it's not half or below, you know, I would use it if it was a half, but it's above half, so we're good. So that is about the lowest one we got. So it didn't turn out too bad at all. So that's my black beans and I'm done. I'm gonna get them on the list or mark them off the list. All right, guys, I'm going to mark the good old nine pints off my list and uh, check my black beans. I'm good. Got my black eyed peas done and my black beans. I have another bean I'm going to do on Friday. The video will be out. We'll do something different on Wednesday. But moving forward, we're going to get this list knocked out in no time. So stay with us. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.